one for Spargo, one for Spargo with the road, back again with another reading. This time it's a romantic love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this time's reading and resonates with your particular situation in the reading may have a message for you guys i hope you guys are staying healthy happy and safe out there and i appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel it is much appreciated so let's get into the cards so let me do the oracle cards first and then we'll get into the tarot okay so let's see here okay so as a split of the deck we have brunette female and passion so if that isn't you you might be dealing with somebody who's doing okay anyway the holy spirit what message do you have to start off the reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? You, some of you guys might be dealing with someone and that's all the relationship is about, the passion energy. And you might be looking for more, but you're uh, maybe afraid to ask for more from this particular person. They can have resonance for you. Okay, just saying. young female so you may be a young female you might be <laughs> yeah okay anything else control here tell me cool one more travel why does that keep coming okay long it okay see i knew it was something some of y'all dealing with somebody and you're in a long distance relationship you may be the young female or you may be the the broomnet, whatever the case may be, somebody is dealing with somebody else, okay? With this control energy here, that's the, I use that as my devil card for this deck. Um, it feels like you dealing with someone, but they're dealing with someone else. Um, here it goes again. You might have a Leo somewhere in your chart, or you're dealing with a Leo, but every time you go to travel to see them, they always make them an excuse why you can't, can't come see them, okay? Some of y'all know it's something else to this. It might be a third-party situation. Maybe you're aware of it, maybe you're not, but it is a, a long-distance relationship where somebody, you're trying to come and see them or you want them to come and see you, but they always have an excuse. This is literally the Leo reading, and yes, I did clear the energy out before I did you guys' this reading. Okay, so... Some, you dealing with Leo or you have Leo significant in your chart or this third party has Leo in their chart and I'm picking up on it Whoever, whatever the case it may be is either you're aware of a third party situation a love triangle or you're not okay so let's see Spirit what additional messages do you have for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus placement for some of y'all, y'all could have met this particular person when you were traveling and had a rendezvous with them or something or started dating them and they didn't tell you that they had someone else in their life. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's cut the duck here. Whoever it is, it's a redhead. A redhead and a brunette uh, male and female are involved okay the higher front that's taurus energy the nine of cups look at that redhead again maybe that's you or maybe somebody tell you you have the the energy of a spicy or fiery redhead the five of wands okay the will of fortune that's that travel energy and that is sagittarius energy sagittarius placements along with that travel card the ace of pentacles the Justice card, the Two of Cups, Child, and the Devil. Didn't I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Energy Temperance. That's also Sagittarius energy as well. Didn't I say somebody was lying about something? Seven of Swords. Something. And the Eight of Cups. You're you going to have to walk away. Either you walked away or you're going to have to walk away from someone. Because they were lying to you about whether or not they were really wanting to be in a committed relationship. You thought that this person was supposed to be with you. You were happy with them, Nine of Cups. I feel like with this Nine of Cups, you were happy single. But then you met this person. And then all of a sudden, you were like, okay, yes, let's explore this. Princess of Wands. But 
I feel like as y'all got into the Sagittarius placements, you figured out that this person was playing games. Five of Wands had you in competition with other people. Okay. Maybe initially you did not know it, but you found it out. Okay. But I feel like the wheel is turning because you're finding out about this or you have found out about what this particular person was doing. You really, uh, for some of y'all, this caught you off guard out of the blue, whether it be meeting them or finding out about this particular situation. You will get your justice and get what is rightfully yours with the Two of Cups and the Justice card here. That's balancing your energy. And as y'all know, we had a full moon lunar eclipse in Libra uh this past march here yeah. so um what was it 24th 25th of march some of y'all know uh that this person isn't for you and that your person is out there but uh for some of y'all this person has been stringing you along uh yeah and you're you're finally coming to that conclusion with the control card and with the devil card here yeah. it was uh they were yes they were a soulmate but they were a karmic to teach you some lessons five of wands justice and two of cups let me clarify this two of cups though because this is interesting spirit please clarify the two of cups for sagittarius placements y'all yeah, seen that's too many cards but i'm gonna show you what came out seven of cups came out so like i said you were dealing with somebody that had options you were trying to stand your ground with this person say pick me or this person and they didn't like that too much. Let's see. You told them to make a choice. That's Gemini energy. And I don't think they were willing to make a choice. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all will walk away because there was lies in the sea. That's the Ace of Cups right there. Yeah, some of y'all are starting over because of this. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Don't worry, everything's going to work out fine. But I feel like for some of y'all, y'all just not finding this out and trying to figure out what you're going to do for some of y'all you're going to leave okay for some of you, for some of y'all this might have been a marriage and you for oh lord see that justice energy there's marriage and divorce that's my card for marriage and divorce okay higher fun is for marriage and commitment whether you know marriage or uh long-term stuff you weren't long-term marriage commitment with this person and then they were doing something they they didn't have any business they were dealing with a page or you were dealing with a page young female energy or this happened when you were younger take it how it resonates okay guys i don't know everybody's story okay <laughs> but i feel like you try to force someone's hand because they were putting you in a third party situation you know it was teaching you lessons but it was painful lessons for some of y'all once you figured out what was going on you made you were ready to split divorce or you just left this person but i keep feeling like it was like a long distance relationship or marriage and once you found this out it's like whoever you were dealing with sagittarius placements they were trying to manipulate the situation to keep control like keep you and whatever person they were dealing with okay so put yourself where you see yourself yeah that's rough let's <laughs> let's clarify the devil even though there's temptation control karmic bonds please clarify the devil energy for sagittarius placements what is this <laughs> the knight of cups yeah and the ace of cups like i was saying this is someone you were always trying to go and see uh, and you you are full on invested you see how on this nine of cups she's holding that ace of cups you were fully invested in this particular person this particular relationship but damn they weren't invested in you like you were in them okay so yeah that's the gist of that so that is all i have for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus placements I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.